Hello, Broken Arrow. This is City Council Rewind. My name is Mike Godfrey, and with me is Councilor Lisa Ford. How are you doing today, Councilor? I'm doing great. How are you doing? A great day to be in Broken Arrow. It is a great day to be in Broken Arrow, and right now we get to talk about what happened at our City Council meeting last night. A lot of a lot of good things. <laughs> yes, a lot of good things. Let's start with the roadway improvements survey. This is actually a micro survey. Now, in the beginning of the year, we had a a really big survey that everyone had the opportunity to take. But this micro survey just focused on the um, roadway improvements in the city. Tell me why this is so important to get this information um, that we need to help make decisions in the city. Well, first of all, I love that we're drilling down, like getting into more details. And so we did have that the, the survey that covered a lot of things. And one of the top things were the roads because most people drive on the roads and um, we do have a lot of complaints on the roads although we have a lot of really great roads too so this survey it kind of let the community say this is what i want to see fixed like this street is what's important to me so then we were able to kind of look you know because i mean our streets department already has a good idea on which streets need to be done next but it's great to have the citizen input and i believe this survey really drilled down for sure oh absolutely and, it, and like you said it's great to have that information as as a city it helps the city plan and there are a lot of um opportunities to write in specific streets that may not be on the survey and we found that some of those um, requests were already um, in progress. Yes, which that was great news because it seemed like a lot of those were actually already in progress. So um, I think the citizens are going to be really happy, maybe not during the progress of the orange cones and, and that type of thing, but orange cones means progress. So um, it, it was good and for anyone that I think we got over 3000 um, survey results back. And so if you don't think your voice matters in Broken Arrow, you don't know what's going on because your voice does matter. So anytime we offer for the citizens for input, which we do a lot. I, I wish more people would, you know, 3,000 when you have 125,000 population doesn't seem very much, but everyone seemed to be uh, pretty happy with, with that number. Absolutely. And um, we have other micro surveys coming down the line, so stay tuned for that. I think one of those will be walkability. Mm -hmm. So that's very important as well, how we get around town. Yes. <laughs> uh, the council approved a, a design for 20 parking spaces in the Rose District. And, you know, as you visit towns across Oklahoma, parking downtown is very important. Mm -hmm. Tell me why having these 20 free parking spaces downtown is so important to the Rose District. If you think about it, lunchtime when, well, actually, the Rose District is busy all the time. It doesn't really matter what time of day you come to there. I don't really have a problem finding a parking place, but I'm sure when we have the big events like Rooster Days and the Christmas Parade, that type of thing, um, these 23, and Farmer's Market, actually, because it's really booming on Saturdays, I, I believe it'll make a really big difference. And to be able to offer free parking, and the city does it up well, we have very, you know, very nice parking and lots of lights and that type of thing, I think it's going to make a big impact for the Rose District, for sure. Uh, definitely. And uh, just to let the viewers know, this is actually on the intersection of Ash Avenue and Commercial Street. And um, with this, we're able to preserve the umbrella catalpa tree that's actually been there since the 1900s. So I know that that was very important to the council as well. Yes, yes. We like to re we like to preserve any history that we can. So we are glad to see that the tree is staying. So, yes. And one more thing we want to discuss is the um, council did approve an incentive program from our utilities department to test for the lead and copper sampling in select homes around the city. And this is a uh, requirement by the EPA. Uh, I believe that we are required to test 50 homes. So and tell me a little bit about the incentive that we've uh, set up. So we did ask for volunteers and I guess we didn't get a whole lot of people that were wanting to volunteer and they may just not really know, you know, the process. And literally they bring a, a container, they'll put it on your porch, you, run tap water and you just put it right back on your porch. It's just that simple. But if you can get $50 back from the city, I think a lot more people will be a little more interested in, in helping us out. And it, it's not gonna be like the first 50 people, it'll be a random drawing. So um, get your name in, if your home is in that age range, of course. That's correct. And in fact, on our city website, we'll have a form that people can fill out to register for this and if they qualify they'll be put on a list and like you said it will be a randomizer uh, selection and it will be a one-time uh, bill credit of uh, fifty dollars uh, for their participation so i just think it's great that we're able to get those um 
those numbers back to our utility department so they, they can report those to the state. Yes, and it gives us a good idea of where we're at with our water, which is very important to everybody. There were about 50 other items on the agendas besides what we just talked about. For more about those items, go to the city website and click on agendas and minutes in the government section. Click on the date range drop down list and then select the governing body. Find the meeting day of your choice and select the meeting details. Any last words? Well, you know, it's been a great summer, but it's been a hot summer. It so has. I just want to remind all of our citizens that our splash pads are still open. Uh, probably still have a pool or two open. So check out the availability of that and just have a great safe of the rest of your summer. And until next time, this is City Council Rewind and we will see you in the city where opportunity lives. Thank you for watching. This is a production of the City of Broken Arrow, the city where opportunity lives.